a handicap match on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 260 pounds. Byron, are you at all surprised Damn. by the intensity the level inside this arena right now? Not in the least bit, Michael. This is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time. Bonded by the need to succeed. Bonded by the desire to be great. I don't think I'm overstepping my bounds, Byron, when I say Rollins, Ambrose, and Reigns have already achieved greatness in WWE. You are absolutely right, Corey. Handicap action Ouch. underway here, guys. The best laid plans often oh, go awry, but the architect has always been able to rebuild and redesign. Yeah, but it's that reclaiming part at the end of his saying that Seth Rollins often gets tripped up on. Setting him up for the... Good night. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. Seth Rollins blends high-flying abilities with brutal grounded strikes to keep opponents guessing. If you're an opponent, how do you find an opening? I've faced Seth Rollins many times, but that was before his injury. That right knee is a big target now, and I'd aim all my attacks right at that. Oh, what a DDT! Wow, 
Going back to Seth's knee, I'm one to know that injuries are fair game, and Seth was exposed to the world when he crumpled to the ground that night against Kane. You know, I actually agree with you, Corey. Any submission specialist needs to make that knee a priority. It also neutralizes Seth's biggest moves and keeps him from the top rope. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Oh, right to the face. Max Handel finds the mark. Reconstructing the knee there. He's looking at it. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the hand... Oh, and he breaks free! But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. He's up against an almost unwinnable battle here in this handicap match. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and never end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan, Braun Strowman, absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring in handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Oh boy, he is rolling. Dodges a bullet there. Here he goes. Neckbreaker. There is no coming back from that one. Oh man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. Looking at it here. Oh, continuing to punish them. But he's got to capitalize now. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. I understand Dean Ambrose's psychological tactics. That doesn't mean I like them. History was with Roman Reigns at the 32nd WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. The big dog was on the hunt that night and defeated Triple H to become the WWE Champion in front of more than 100,000 screaming members of the WWE Universe. On that night, Reigns would not be denied. Any time a WWE Championship changes hands, it's historic. But the conflict between Triple H and Roman Reigns was so intense that the only place their differences could be settled was WrestleMania. The odds were against Roman Reigns in every possible way at the 32nd Showcase of the Immortals. The game took Blake was ready to take Reigns down once and for all, but the Big Dog had other ideas as he beat the odds and became WWE Champion. 
Pro is starting to struggle now. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Big time slam! Vicious. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time. Or one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. Dean Ambrose need to do right now? At this point, you have to ask how much more he has to give here in this handicap match. Listen to this crowd. They can see this handicap match is starting to slip away from him here. Don't run him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Oh, nasty impact. Tag made. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Not going to be good at all. Off the backbreaker. Suplex. And there's his speed paying off. Dean Ambrose prides himself on being the Iron Man of WWE, being on the road 300 days a year. Despite his work ethic, he has always been seen as an unlikely face of the company. Well, I believe Dean is fully aware of that perception. There's a lot of guys in WWE who care about image, but Ambrose, he might have it. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. Picking up on your previous statement, Byron. He's got the shoulders down. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. I don't care how big and bad you are, you never want to be on the wrong end of the numbers game when it comes to a handicap match. Oh, tag made. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh man. Oh, and it's a reversal. Tag made. Here we go. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. If Rollins can keep his emotions in check, he can figure out a way to take this. Well, he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? A clubbing blow called that should end it. Powerbomb planet. I'm not sure how much he has left. We've got a cover. He breaks the pin. No, he reverses it. Now back to the ring. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You've got to make a move eventually. Impressive job dodging trouble there. And I'll tell you, not a lot of people can pull off an escape like that. Though. Vertical suplex. Nice. Oh boy, he is rolling. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Nailed it. Hip 
attack. So sudden. Uh-oh. Is he done? And he finds a way free. Wow. That was just pure determination, Cole. Second time. Oh, what a neck breaker. Rawls fans have plenty to worry about here. Oh no. We know what this is. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. Shoulders on the back. One. Down goes the referee. There was just no getting out of the way on that one. Uh -huh. You gotta believe this one's over. Seth freaking Rock. Wow, kicking butt and taking names. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's going for it all. Seth Rollins got out of dangerous path there. Great move by the architect. This might be it. Oh, my. What the? DDT. No rules. No. Super kick. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Seth Rollins coming in. Thunderous slam. Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. The cover. One, two. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, alley-oop power bomb. That might be it. Turns it around. Oh, nasty impact. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Ooh. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a striking blow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now the lights out. DDT connects. Looking at it a second time. Ooh, what impact. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Here's a cover. One. Two. Oh, somehow. Roman Reigns just powering out of that pin attempt. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? Big time impact from way up high. And now one more time. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. His shoulders are down. One, and there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. 
Perhaps feeling a little more comfortable on the outside at this point. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. He gets it with a reversal. Lightning fast reflexes. Tag made, double team action now. Oh, and a boot to the face. Uh, tag made. <laughs> Man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. It escapes trouble there. Drop kick. Beautiful. Well, I think a lot of people saw this handicap match going a lot differently, myself included. An amazing match so far, guys, but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. Takes him down in a major way, too. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to... And will this be it? Yes. Broken up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Miracle might superplex. What an assault on Roman Reigns. Oh man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Uppercut. Jar. Not just any uppercut. That one was Swiss. Just too fast for him. He's too quick for him there. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect four. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. I don't know how these superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. I can tell you, nobody's happy about it. And here's another peek of the moves you saw in that match. Check them out here. Look at him go. He ain't messing around. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here are your winners, Sam, the soldier, and... Big win, albeit via countout. Man, I'll tell you, going out like that is a tough pill to swallow.